Harry comment, the victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. His face is covered with mud, like the other victims. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. Superficial wound on the right thigh. Blood analysis suggests it could be post-mortem. Probably a scratch that occurred when the body was being moved. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. Comment. The pollen particles disappear in the tall grass. It's probably the end of the trail. Footprints continue just after the pollen trail. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Coming. There are traces of blood on the fence behind the railroad line. It comes from the victim. The killer came this way with the body and probably grazed it on his way through the fence. Good chance that they're the killers. Harry, come in. Tire tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. Think I've seen all there is to see.
Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? You have five minutes to cut off the last section of one of your fingers in front of the camera. If you succeed, you will get your reward. Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. Namely, my name's Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. Uh, I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I'd like a room. Manson, page 27. Single. Ethan Mars has had psychological problems since his first son died. He is haunted by visions of drowning bodies. A few weeks ago, after one of our usual sessions, I found this on the floor. He must have fallen out of his pocket. Ash, I want you to assign every available man to finding Ethan Mars. I want you to keep an eye on the train stations, the airports, the bus terminals. I want every cop in the city on his ass, so that if he moves, we know about it. You're gonna die, you son of a bitch! I swore on my son's grave that I would kill the man who murdered him. I just don't believe he's guilty. Your other son is a shepherd. What was his name? Everything I did, I did for love.